She's Mylon. He's Tyler. And together we make My Tai. Hi everyone, let's get started. Today's topics will be how to mix insulin, specifically regular and NPH. Of course, like always, prior to the skill, wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. Okay, so typically insulin comes in a vial. As shown here on the screen, the vial on the left with the big red R is regular insulin, and at the bottom, the solution is clear. The vial on the right with a big green N is NPH, insulin. You can identify this because it has particles on the bottom, and as I roll the vial in my hand, the solution becomes cloudy. I don't want to shake the vial because I can potentially introduce air bubbles into the vial. Keep in mind for safe practice, it's important to compare the medication name label to the solution appearance and check your expiration dates. I have seen regular insulin that was cloudy because it was expired and if the medication label wasn't checked, it could have been assumed that it was NPH. So make sure you do your medication rights. Confirm that you have a doctor's order to give this medication. For the purpose of this video, we will use the doctor's order posted in the caption. Give five units of Humulin R and six units of Humulin N subcutaneously before breakfast daily. Because it's a clean technique, not sterile, I am going to put on regular gloves. Remove the cap of both vials. The top of these vials are not clean, so I am going to make sure I alcohol wipe both of these vials for at least 15 seconds. Then I am going to grab the insulin needle, which is commonly have an orange cap on like this. Remove the packaging and insulin conversion usually come in units instead of milliliters. So make sure you also look for that on the needle. Let's go ahead and draw up the insulin now. The mnemonic that I was taught and have stuck to me to this day is no river runs north. I am removing the orange cap and will now inject air into the vial first. Injecting air will allow the medicine to be withdrawn more easily. If I don't add air in, I'm creating a vacuum in the vial and can make it really hard to pull the plunger out and get the insulin. So, no river runs north. Drop the same amount of air as my NPH order and inject that air into the NPH vial. That is the N in no part. Repeat the same, draw up 5 units of air, inject to my regular bottle, that is the R in river part. Don't pull out the needle, instead you are going to turn the regular vial upside down and actually pull up 5 units of Humulin R insulin, that is the R in run part. Then pull out your needle inject the NPH valve turn it upside down and pull out 6 units of NPH that is the N in north part This mnemonic ensures that I draw the clear first before the cloudy, regular before NPH. I don't want to contaminate the clear insulin valve, which can affect the action of the insulin.
If you are not injecting the medication into your patient right away, then I recommend the one hand scoop method, which is using any hard objects. In this case, I use the vial and insert the needle carefully into its needle cap and pop it into place leaning against a hard object. This prevents me from poking my fingers if I were to miss. You can use the wall, a desk, a water bottle, anything that is hard I will label the syringe with how many units I have mixed into the syringe. That is how I mix regular and NPH insulin together. Remember, no river runs north. Clear before cloudy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!